Question for Mr. Obama from Carlos Hernandez Gomez. Senator Obama, you say you're a Christian, but Ambassador Key said that your record runs counter to Jesus' teachings. What's your reaction to your opponent's assertion that your own Lord and Savior wouldn't even vote for you? <laughs> Well, you know, I, my first reaction was I actually wanted to find out who Mr. Keyes' pollster was. Uh, because if I had the opportunity to talk to Jesus Christ, I'd be asking, uh, I'd be asking something much more important than the Senate race. Uh, you know, I'd want to know whether I was going up or down. Uh, uh, there are all sorts of questions, I think, that, that I'd be interested in. Uh, look, I'm very proud of my Christianity. Uh, and uh, it, it sustains me, and it's part of what motivates me uh, to get involved in public service. Uh, as I said before, I started in this town, in Chicago, organizing with churches. Uh, and and the, the enormous faith uh, and resilience and courage that was shown uh, by uh, persons of faith uh, made all the difference in the world in terms of setting up uh, after-school programs for youth or making sure that uh, we have uh, affordable housing uh, in many communities that are uh, having tough times all across this state. Uh, but what I don't think is appropriate uh, as a public servant uh, is for me to uh, assume my faith uh, is absolute uh, and to therefore uh, presume that people who are of different faiths and have different perspectives uh, are, are somehow evil or wrong uh, or that I can't have uh, a dialogue with them and arrive at common ground. Thank you very much, Mr. Keyes. But of course, the question involved here wasn't people of different faiths, but people who profess the same faith. Uh, and that faith is faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, and the question I think that I would pose to the Lord is not whether I'm going up or going down. Uh, I want to know where he stands so that I may follow him. I want to know where he stands with respect to the will of the Father to whom he looks. Uh, and on these questions like abortion, he says the taking of innocent life is an abomination. On these questions like traditional marriage, he says he created us male and female. Uh, and that the wrong use of the body in this way is again, as the scripture says, an abomination. He m defined marriage not as the union of man and man or woman and woman, but as man and woman and the two become one flesh. Something that is possible only in the course of procreation. Uh, so when I look at where Christ stands and I look at where Senator Obama stands, uh, based upon that record of Christ's understanding, which we acknowledge as Christians to be the true record, I say, well, Christ is over here, Senator Obama's over there, the two don't look the same. Uh, and that means that I'm not thinking about Alan Keyes. I am thinking about the Lord. And to say I don't have the right to do that means that you're trying to suggest that my faith-shaped conscience has no place in our politics. And yet if I go into the voting booth or into public life uh, without my faith-shaped conscience, then I have no conscience. For the Lord said I must love him with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. There's nothing left over. Without faith, there is just a faith-shaped void where the conscience ought to be. And I challenge all the voters of this state who profess to believe in Christ. How can you vote from such a faith-shaped void? Without the Lord, your vote will not be based upon that faith which ought to shape your life. And for anyone to suggest that you leave it behind at Thank the door you, of the voting booth or public service suggests something utterly incompatible with what the Lord ourselves told us, himself rather, told us. Thank you, sir. About the meaning of Senator it. Obama, you have 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't need Mr. Keyes lecturing me about Christianity. Uh, that's why I have a pastor. That's why I have my Bible. Uh, that's why uh, I have my own prayer. Uh, and I don't think that any of you are particularly interested in having Mr. Keyes lecture you about your faith. Uh, what you're interested in is solving problems like jobs and health care and education. I'm not running to be the minister of Illinois. I'm running to be its United States Senator. Mr. Keyes, 30 seconds. I think that answer is typical. When it really comes down to it, though Senator Obama professes faith when it's convenient to get votes, at the hard points where that faith must be followed and explained to folks and stood up for and witnessed to as folks who were martyrs in the early church said he then pleads separation of church and state something found nowhere in the constitution and certainly found nowhere in the scripture as such so i've got to tell you uh, i think that this is a typical example that ought to be examined carefully by discerning people of christian Thank conscience you.